how do we install our ScanLiter library into Exacad? So the first thing is to visit the website itself, and you can see here that the website has library compatibility. So if we click on that, you can see if we scroll down, there is the option to download the Exacad or the Three Shape library. If we go across, we click download that library, it'll take us through to the same options again where we can click through. And if you've got the older version one, you've also got that option here, but we want to be clicking the main folder, which is the Xcard library here. And here we have two different libraries. We've got the main library, which is the ScanLadder High library here. And also if you want to be able to create models, the model creator library. Both libraries are always expanding and both libraries are always evolving. So I would suggest catching up periodically and seeing when the last modified date was, which you can also see on the website. So if we go back, you can see here the last date that this was updated, and you can check whether that's the same version that you have. So let's download both of those. So now that that's downloaded, we can go to the folder which it's in by clicking here on the three dots and going to downloads. And then we click on the folder where that's saved to. And you can see we now have the ScanLadder uh, library here. You can right click, extract all, and open that folder. We'll save that to the side for a sec. And the same thing with the model creator library. And now we've got both of those. The main thing to understand is we can we need to bring in all of the ScanLadder library data from this folder but we want to choose one of the libraries that are here. So you can see we've got DES, ELOS, IPD, Megagen, Austin, Rosen, Southern. So these are all the same connection to the multi-unit itself. So the point at which it's within the mouth of what the scan body sits on, that's the same for each one of these. The difference is, is what you purchase. So what scan body um, you use is the scan ladder. So you're going to choose one of those options from this top library. But from these options, this is what you order. So if you order IPD analogs, then you would use these. If you order rows and analogs from, say, scanladder.com, then you'd be able to use that library. But the important thing is that there is just one of these to choose. You don't want to switch between them, set one, and use it. So the next thing we do is on the desktop, well, wherever you've installed XCAD, I always found an easy way to get to that is I've created a shock on the website. So I'm going to right-click on that and click open file location. And that will take me through here. And I can go to the dental CAD folder, click on the dental CAD app folder, and you can see it says library. Now, if we go into one of these, let's say we're in integrating the Rosen analog, then you'll see it says model creator implants. And this is a set folder. So I'm going to go back to where it says model creator. If I go into library here, you'll see that it also says model creator there. So I want to copy this over and replace the files here. And that will bring into the model creator in the implants, the scan ladder model library, which will look the same if you've chosen one of the other options for the model creator. Now, if we go back to library again, you can see here we've got in this folder, this whole host of different files, but we want to bring in that whole scan ladder file uh, folder into this implant folder. And you can see I've already done this here. I'm going to refresh it by deleting that and bringing this over. So we've got the latest folder there. And that is now ready to go for us to design within XCAD.